How you doing? I'm Darren with Ash Kick and Barbecue. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Today we are talking cheesy bacon burger bombs. That's right, that mouthful of words is gonna equal into a mouthful of deliciousness. These are fantastic. They're a great recipe you can prep the night before and cook the next day on game day parties, whatever. It's an easy barbecue appetizer, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. It's burgery, it's bacony, it's smoky, it's cheesy, it's delicious. So let's jump in and I'm gonna show you how to prep these cheesy bacon burger bombs. All right, so to make our bacon cheeseburger bombs, I'm just gonna run through the list of ingredients we'll have real quick. I have a pound of 80-20 ground beef. I have a half cup of diced onions. I have a half cup of diced pickles and these are Grillo pickles. If you can find them, try them. They are my favorite pickles by far. They're very fresh. And then right here I have six cubes of mild cheddar cheese. I'm not sure how many balls we're gonna get out of this, but I started off with six. I think that's a good number. I mean, we don't want tiny balls. We want uh, some decently sized balls. Insert joke here. And so I'm starting off with six, and this is just a block of mild cheddar that I cubed up myself. So the process is gonna be pretty simple. Into our bowl here, we're gonna go with our half cup of onions, our half cup of diced pickles. We're going in with a little bit of Worcestershire sauce for some nice umami flavor. And then we're gonna come in with some of the Tailgaters barbecue party rub. This is a great burger rub. And it's gonna go great on these bacon cheeseburger bombs. So I'm just gonna hit it like that. Then we're just gonna get this all mixed up. And we're not adding eggs or breadcrumbs or anything like that. We're making burger bombs. We're not making meatloaf bombs. So we don't need all that other garbage in here. All right, so you can see we have everything nice and mixed up. Now, all we're gonna do is start forming our balls. And I'm just gonna try and figure out what size we have here. And I think that's a good size. So I'm just gonna flatten that down. Get back in there, pickle. Flatten that down. See how it is in comparison to this cheese. And then just slowly crimp it up here. Make sure it's completely covered. I can see we need a little bit more there. We want that cheese completely encapsulated in this ball. And that looks really good. Nice ball. I'm gonna do the rest of these and bring you back. All right guys, so now that we have our balls formed, I'm just gonna hit them with a little bit more of this tailgaters. Just on the outside, we got some flavor on the inside. Now we want it on the outside. And I can see right here, that one is kind of showing the cheese. So just hit that, pinch that off. And two of these balls are bigger than the others. It's not a big deal, I just didn't wanna have any waste. I got five out of here, so the dogs got a treat with the other piece of cheddar. And if you're concerned about two of these balls being bigger, you can always go see a doctor, but they'll be just fine. So, I'm gonna roll up some of the board seasoning here. All right, and there we go. I'm gonna get these in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes just to firm up these balls a little bit, just because I want these kind of cold when I wrap them in bacon and get them out on the cooker. That way this kind of seals up the cheese a little bit more. So I'll bring it back when it's time to get these wrapped in bacon. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes in the refrigerator. Our balls have firmed up here. And all we're going to do is, I'm just gonna take some bacon here. And this is center cut bacon. And I like the center cut bacon for wrapping stuff. If you've seen my other videos where I wrap stuff in bacon, I've explained this because it's a little bit thinner cut and it cooks quicker and it cooks more even. So all I'm gonna do is get these down, crossed, take one of the balls here, put it right on top, and we're just gonna go over and over and then over and over. And that's all we're doing, just like that. I'm gonna take one of my grill pins and if you watch the other videos, you know I'm a big fan of these grill pins. This is not a sponsored video. I just really appreciate these products. I like that they're reusable and I like that they do what they're supposed to do. They're veteran owned, they're made here in the United States and I like to support those type of companies. And instead of using toothpicks where you can lose them, these are heat safe. And like I said, you could just throw them in the dishwasher and reuse them. And how awesome is that? Just holds it on there, nice and tight. So you don't have to worry about your bacon coming off. We're through all four pieces, should hold up well. So I'm gonna do one more here. Lay that down, kind of pull it. Lay that down. Grab a ball. Fold, 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 and fold. Take a grill pin, 
go right in there. That is perfect. Just like that. Absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna get the last three wrapped up in bacon and then I'll bring you back. All right guys, so you can see I have all of our bacon cheeseburger bombs wrapped up in bacon. Now we're just gonna come in with a little barbecue rub. I'm using my Ash Kickin' Barbecue Honey Chipotle. As always, feel free to use whatever rub you like. This is just what I prefer. Obviously I'm biased, but if there's something that you really enjoy, go ahead and use it. You don't have to use everything that I use. My goal with this is just to give you a recipe idea. If you take it and make it your own, hey, that's what barbecue is all about. I don't expect you to go out and buy all everything that I recommend, even though everything that I recommend will be linked down below. If you're interested, I greatly appreciate the support. It's not expected. And I just appreciate you guys watching and checking out my content. We're rolling up on 100,000. I'm very excited about that. And I honestly couldn't do it without any of you. So just getting these all seasoned up, a little bit of barbecue flavor on the outside. And again, we're just gonna pick up some of the excess on the board here. Get those off to the side. All right, so I have this rack here we're gonna be cooking these on. I did spray it down with a little bit of cooking oil and that's just to prevent this stuff from sticking. I'm cooking on this because it's easy to transport. It'll be easy to rotate on the cooker if we need to. And it'll be easy to let these cool when they're done. So I'm gonna get these out on the Lone Star Grill pellet grill set for 275 degrees. We're gonna leave them on for about an hour. We're pretty much cooking these until the bacon's done. The burger should be done. The cheese should be melted. These are gonna be awesome. So I'll meet you outside at the Lone Star Grill's pellet grill. All right, so we have the Lone Star Grill's pellet grill fired up to 275 degrees. I'm just gonna get these on right here. And they're looking good. We're gonna let them go for one hour. We'll come back out and check on them, see how the bacon's looking, get an internal temp reading. Obviously we want the burger to be cooked, but more importantly, we want that bacon to be cooked to perfection. We'll get a little barbecue sauce on these, let them glaze up. They're gonna be fantastic. So we'll see you in one hour. All right, so it has been one hour. I just checked the temp. We're sitting at about 140-ish in there. At this point, I'm gonna get a little barbecue sauce on these things. This is just a whiskey barbecue sauce that I had in the fridge. I don't even remember the brand, but you can use any barbecue sauce you want. Just get them glazed up and looking good. And we want this sauce to set on here. We don't want these to be super wet and barbecue. We want this, just another layer of flavor on there. So I'm just gonna hit these with a little bit of sauce and that bacon's done. Just want these to set up and then have that just kind of finish cooking a couple more degrees. But yeah, these are gonna be fantastic. Look at the color on there already. They look amazing. So we're just gonna let these go another 15 minutes. Let that sauce tack up, not be too wet and sticky. We want this nice glaze to set on here. Then we're gonna let them cool and then it's time to eat. So we'll see you in 15 minutes. All right, so it has been 15 minutes. We're gonna check these out. And those are looking absolutely beautiful. Awesome color on there. That sauce is tacked up nicely. They're not super wet. These are going to be fantastic. I'm gonna get them inside, let them cool for just a couple minutes. We'll jump in, we'll do the taste test and see how these bacon cheeseburger bombs turned out. So we'll see you in a few minutes. I'm gonna get these off. All right, so here's our cheesy bacon burger bomb. Say that 10 times fast. Looks phenomenal, hopefully, the cheese stayed in there. I see a little bit coming out here and hopefully we're cooked all the way through. Everywhere I probed kind of had that 150-ish range in there. If you like a little pink in there, go for it. I don't mind a little, I don't want a lot. So hopefully it's done to where I like it. If not, whatever, I'm still gonna eat it. You know, cook it to how you like it. If it's a little too pink, throw it back on the cooker, leave them on a little bit longer, try and get a good temp reading, but I'm not too concerned about it because I am hungry. So let's slice in and see how we did. Yeah, there we go. Nice and cheesy. Probably could even put a little bit more cheese in there. So I would say, you know, throw a little bit more cheese in, but it's way back over here. Cooked proper, I really like that. That is looking phenomenal right there. That cheese pouring out. This looks great. Let's jump out and let's do a taste test. All right, so here we go. I'm just straight going for it. Cheesy, delicious. Let's do this. It's so good. You get the cheese, you get the pickles, you get the onions, you get the bacon, a little bit of barbecue sauce flavor. This is awesome. This would be a perfect game day cook. Now, I have a little bit of burger sauce right here. Just a basic burger sauce, ketchup, mayo, some pickles, some Worcestershire, stuff like that. If you're interested, drop a comment. I'll leave the recipe 
But I'm gonna try this in there, see how it turns out. You can even use Thousand Island dressing if you want, which is pretty much what this is, homemade. A Little bit of burger sauce, let's do it. Yeah, the sauce. Sauce boss right here. The sauce makes it better. You guys, these are an absolute home run. You gotta try them. Cheesy, burgery, bacony, smoky, everything you want in a delicious appetizer. Like always, you can make these the night before, get them prepped up, throw them on the smoker the next day. If you don't have a smoker, you can definitely cook these in the oven. I get that question a lot on my videos. So I just wanna emphasize, a lot of these recipes you can do in your oven. It won't have the same smoky flavor, obviously, but it's still gonna be good food. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, stay safe, and we will see you next time.